Man, I'm about to do my little intro a little different this time. Ah! Me, 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 me. All right, now that I got that out the way. 360 Jeezy. 360 Jeezy. 360 360 360 360 360 Jeezy YouTube what's up it's your boy 360 Jeezy and today I'm gonna be teaching all my new subscribers how to get 360 waves all right for beginners stay tuned when you're trying to get 360 waves and you're starting out and you're a beginner and you don't know what to do, you just go on YouTube and, and just click on me, all right? And watch me. This, this, is, this is about me, okay? Nah, I'm just playing. There's other waivers you can watch too. But hey, since you're watching me right now, what you need to do is go to the beauty supply store and pick up some of this. I always tell beginners to pick up some of this 360 style pomade. For some reason, this worked for me. I don't know. You could you could go out and get a couple of pomades and see what works for you. But this this right here is what works for me. Even now, sometimes I'll throw this in just just cause just cause I want to curl my hair a little bit more. This stuff right here really works. On top of getting grease, it's not all about grease. The most important thing that you need is a medium brush all right it doesn't matter what brush you get just make sure it's a medium brush you can get a two dollar brush you can get a dollar brush you can get it doesn't matter about the cost the cost ain't got nothing to do with brushing your hair honestly so make sure you go out and get you a brush to be a medium brush this is also a medium brush it's later lando pro lado pro however you want to call it it's a good brush too and after that you know you're almost in there you're almost in there all right there's one more thing that you need that's really important all right you need a do-rag all right a do rag one of these all right something that ties up don't don't go out and, and get nothing else go and get this you beginners this is what you need right here the silk satin called so many waves do rag it's silky and it's silky and it's silky and it's silky smooth with the deal make sure you get this after you got the plies and all that um basically when you start out you really don't need to focus on method method doesn't come into play until you get your waves until you get a little ripple and until you're in at the ripple stage you know what i mean i hope y'all like the, the 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 pop lock i just did right there i just ooh Ooh, I brought it back. That's what that's what your waves do, all right? You want to bring your waves back. You want to get your waves right and get it, you know, a little bit ripply, you know, all over your head. You're going to have a bunch of forks. But once you get to that stage, all right, you want to use the hot towel method. The hot towel method is basically putting a hot towel in the microwave, amp it, put it in the microwave. Or if, if your water get hot enough, you know, you might not really need to put it in the microwave. But me, I put mine in the microwave, let it heat up, let it steam up, let it get all hot, take it out, put on on your head let the let the grease melt in your hair and go in for about 30 minutes on a brush session now the sessions gotta be fierce you can't just not brush your hair you gotta put in work brushing 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 and after you do that you want to throw in your do-rag do-rag all right you want to throw in your do-rag and just go to sleep wake up to do it all over again you gotta be consistent you cannot just expect to get 360 ways and be dipping hard with the connections and all that if you not brushing you can't get waves if you're not brushing some people can get natural waves don't get me wrong but with the people that have straight hair and the hair is not naturally curly you need to be brushing non-stop my hair is not naturally curly i have to force my hair to wave up like if i cut off my hair i'm not gonna have just instant curl curly hair my hair is straight so that's what you need to do in order to get the best 360 waves for beginners when you're going to the barber shop and you're trying to get a fresh one and you're a beginner, listen, tell your barber to not go. I know it's hard because everybody has different textures. Tell your barber to keep it thick. You don't want to cut it to where you can see your scalp. That's the best way I can explain to y'all. I mean, everybody has their own guard for their own hair texture. You know what I mean? I'm a, I'm a student barber. I cut hair. I, I know what I'm talking about when it comes to 360 waves. And I can't use a one and a half on everybody, on every texture. It just cannot be done. 
one. So I judge it. If you have coarse hair, I can use a one, but I can also use a zero. I can use a zero guard too because you guys can wave at lower length. If you're a straight hair waver, I might have to go with a two or even a three or four depending on how straight your hair is. So for beginners, you gotta use your own judgment. Just tell your barber to keep it thick. Get line up and a little taper if you choose to. Right? You don't have to get tapered. You don't have to get a little taper. You can just have your sideburns on crisp. You know, I got a client, you know, I, if y'all seen his videos, he dipping, he got the little sideburns, the little, little ice pick sideburns, dipping up. And you can also refer your uh, barber to watch my videos. I got cutting videos out there for y'all. Uh, they could, they could kind of mimic what I do. When you're out there and you're a beginner, it's crucial that your barber doesn't cut your hair too low because you'll lose progress. When it comes to washing your hair, oh man, as a beginner, and this is just me, I know everybody's different. I know everybody's different, but this is just me. I do not wash my hair every every day or even every week. I wash my hair twice a week. I could do that. I mean, I don't put a lot of products in my hair. I mean, it works for me. I, I, my waves is dipping, it's cool. When I started, I wasn't washing all the time like that. Just on the simple fact that when I was washing my hair, it would kind of straighten out my waves and my waves wouldn't be as crisp and as as like crinkly. Let's see y'all know what I'm talking about. It just wouldn't look as fresh as when you was just brushing and you wasn't washing your hair. Once you wash your hair, your your, your waves and your curls, it kind of loosens up and it kind of is it's kind of hard harder to get back in their natural state. You got to really go in on a brush session after you wash your hair. But I suggest washing your hair every two weeks. Only wash your hair when your hair is thick. Don't wash your hair on a low cut. Wash your hair before you get that cut and then just brush. You don't, you just brush the hair out. You don't really got to wash your hair like that. I mean, the hair that you had, it was already washed. So why would you wash the hair? I mean, it, does, it, is, it isn't dirty when it comes off. You know what I'm saying? They sanitize their clippers. So there's no need to wash your hair if you already washed before a haircut. So wait that two weeks and I guarantee your hair gonna be stupid crisp. Stupid crisp. The best way to tie your do rag. Um, let me take this. Let me take this off real quick. So you guys can see. Y'all not ready for this sue rag. Y'all not ready. Y'all beginner. Hold off on the sue rag right here, cause this is basically to just maintain your waves and you know keep it at a keep it at a good state. But a do rag is really what you need. All right. And this is how I put on my do rag. You don't never want to put it on too tight, and you don't want to put it on too loose, cause it'll it'll eventually fall off while you sleep. But when you put on your do rag, you can take take this string right here, put it to your mouth, and then make sure, make sure you guys understand me, make sure that you put it flat like this. That eliminates, that really eliminates the line that will be in your head if you put it just straight across like that. Don't do that. Make sure it's flat, tie it in the back, push it down, and voila! Getting 360 waves is really a lifestyle. Like it's hard work, it ain't easy. I mean, you could get, you could, you could either be a person with waves or you could be a waver. All right, there's two different. It's levels to this. All right, it's perfect people that have waves on this end. They got waves. Ah, I see you up there. They rippling. It's good. Then there's people that are waver. All right, and that really take this stuff seriously and they really try to better their connection. You know, and just really, you know, they go hard for it. It's a lifestyle. For. Especially for me, you know, I done created a whole world on YouTube with waving, you know what I mean? Cutting hair and, do, and all that. So I appreciate you guys out there watching me, following me. Make sure you subscribe. You know, I need more subscribers. Don't don't stop now. Don't stop subscribing to me now. Hold on now. And uh, I got an Instagram. Make sure you follow me on Instagram, man. 360 Jeezy, man. Everything 360 Jeezy. Twitter, you know, Instagram, YouTube, everything 360 Jeezy. All right. My old subscribers, I got something in store for y'all just stay tuned um yeah basically that's it this is how to get ways for beginners all right it's 2015 i'm out of here Cheers!